Adam Goods, who is an Australian rules football player in Australia, was being heckled by a 14-year-old in, uh, you know, in the audience, I guess. Uh, she was sitting in the front row, and she referred to him as, a, as an ape. Now, he is aboriginal, and of course, in Australia, uh, Abor the aborigines have faced a lot of racism, and of course, you know, just like in the United States, uh, you know, they are still trying to overcome the past. I mean, in the U.S., we haven't conquered, uh, you know, the, our issues with racism at all, and, you know, other countries experience the same thing. Anyway, uh, when he heard that she called him an ape, he had authorities escort her out. So everyone's talking about it, and they're, you know, of course, applauding him for doing so. So what do you think, Jenk? And by the way, she has apologized for what she did. Uh, she contacted him, apologized to him, apologized through media outlets. Jenk, thoughts? So she's only 13 years old, so I feel kind of bad for her because mm -hmm. she's kind of young. Uh, she calls him an ape. Uh, now, apparently, that's one of the go-to uh, insults against Aborigines, as it is for in a lot of the racist insults, right? Um, at the same time, um, and, and she's being called out in front of the whole stadium there. Yeah. Look at that, right? It, does a 13-year-old know for sure that ape is not a generic insult versus a racist insult? That's where I'm not absolutely sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I don't want to hold her apology against her, but the depth of her apology made me think that she did mean it in a racist way and hence is apologizing for that. She, she claims that she did not mean it in a racist way, so she apologized. She's an unidentified girl, even though you could see her uh, image uh, in that video. Uh, she says, I didn't mean it in a racist way, and I'm sorry to the club and the AFL. See, I feel bad for her. I mean, I know she's saying that she didn't mean it in a racist way, which is very understandable. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I shouldn't hold her apology against her. It's, I'm glad she apologized, no matter what kind of insult that it, it, yeah. it was, and I shouldn't read too much into it. Uh, uh, man, it's super harsh to call her out in front of the whole stadium. It is harsh. If she was an adult, I'd say, go get him. That was awesome. And there they have different rules than we do. It's, a, it's an actual an offense, and he did not pursue charges against her, which definitely he shouldn't do, right? Right. That's just too much because she's so young, right? Uh, but I don't know. Good on him. I don't. What's your take? I don't know. It's one of those really tough situations because, yes, you want to maybe be a little more lenient with her because of the fact that she's so young. But sometimes when you're young, the lessons that stand out the most are the lessons that are the harshest. And this is a very harsh lesson, but it'll be something that stays with her for the rest of her life. And I think that it makes her aware of, um, so sorry, but, something my eye. but it makes her aware of something that, you know, maybe she thought that that was something that was acceptable in some sort of a sporting event. Like, oh, as a heckler, you're able to say whatever the hell you want. Right, but you realize like this is unacceptable. You're not no, allowed no. to. No, no, I, I that makes me go the other way because yeah, it might stay with her for the rest of her life. And her grave offense was shouting at a stupid insult at a stadium, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure I want that. On the other hand, I like the idea of sending the message out to everybody else. Hey, don't do that. It's not cool. So I'm going to ask you to drop it. All right, what do you guys think, man? Um, as you can tell, we're a little on the fence here. Okay. Um, she's 13. We're worried about 14-year-olds having sex, but they're smart enough to do that. Okay, but they're not, they're, she's smart enough to be able to understand what's racist and what's not. And if this is her gravest offense, she's going to learn from it for the rest of her life. Okay, you were embarrassed in front of an entire stadium. You're going to live. You'll be okay. Stop being a racist asshole. Maybe you'll learn from someone calling you out in front of everyone and you being completely embarrassed. Totally, like the footballer, whatever we want to call him, is totally not guilty. She should be kicked out of some more games. See if you want to keep thinking about it some more. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to call him guilty. I think that's too far. Like, but should he have done it is the question. Yes, do it again. Oh, wow. All right, strong. Just Jackson coming in strong. Justice Godoy. Uh, I want to abstain because she's so young. Do we take her to juvenile court better? Yeah, and look, I think there's two factors here. The, the degree, how young she is, at 12, I would have been against him. But does he know? Like, but she didn't, if anything, to be fair to the footballer, uh, she's, she looked maybe older than 13 rather than younger than 13, right? He doesn't know exactly what age she is, right? And then the other thing is, it wasn't like the N-word, I know, I don't know what the racist insults they use over there, et cetera. Apis could be a little bit more generic. Mm -hmm. Like it's very 
like understandable but one Turk calls another Turk an ape. Right? So that's why I'm like, ah, it's real borderline. So, so, but we can't have three abstentions. What's the matter with us? I know. We're thing, supposed to be definitive here. The thing that's difficult is we don't know what her intent was. Like, we don't know what was going on we in her mind. We should interrogate her. She, yeah, maybe waterboard her a little bit and figure out what's really going on like, in that mind of hers. I hear it doesn't work the first 182 times. You so you got to do it 183 times. Right. Okay, that's what we learned from Khalid Sheikh. Is it devastating to not come to your football game or to get kicked out? Is it that fucking devastating? Oh it's my god, like never it's more embarrassing than anything else. Yeah, like getting kicked fine. out. Like if it, if it happens discreetly is one thing, but like she's on tape. You know what I mean? Like everyone sees it. Everyone's looking at you. You have like this star footballer pointing you out. So it, more than anything, it's embarrassing for her. But should she have been embarrassed like that? And I don't know. I, I wish I knew like her true intent. Does she know? You know the the racial impact of what she said. Just okay, what are we I don't. Afraid can, of? can I, I just, just okay, say for that side? What are we afraid of happening to her? She's gonna kill herself? No, I mean, no, there's nothing's gonna happen. But like to everybody's her. gonna make fun of her for the rest of her oh, life. Right. Oh, it's yeah. happened to everyone in high school. She, she's gonna experience that next year. It's it's. If it was fun. a clear race word, racist word, uh, I mean, and don't get me wrong, ape has a huge history of right. uh, of you know racial uh, intention, etc., in being racist. Uh, all right, uh, I am gonna say. He went a little too far. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, so I'm 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 voting the other way, Jair. Okay. Based on our age, based on the ambiguity of the word to some degree. And then, but you remember, look, I judging him, you can't be too harsh either, because he mo turns around in a second, mm -hmm. and he doesn't know what her age is, and he's like She's that one, that big jacket. right? Yeah, that one just called me an ape, and I'm not going to stand for it. Okay. Oh, I like the way he's like, get up, get up, get up. You, out, out. Is she the, is she the first one to do it to him, too? I don't know. You know what? It might have been the straw that no, broke the I'm camel's switching. back room or something. I'm switching, not guilty. Because as she was sitting down, yeah. it's impossible to tell how young she is. And what the guy did was he just pointed and he's like, that's the one that said ape. So he didn't even have a moment to decide whether she was 13, 16, or 19. So do we, do we let people slide based on their age? Like, yes. Like in our, in our yes. criminal- Yes, like kids don't know what they're saying. They'll learn. <laughs> yeah, okay, like they'll 13, learn. 13, Capital punishment at three. <laughs> 13 is different from a kid. You're a teenager. Like you're aware of racism. You're aware of words that are racist. It's not like she's completely idiotic and she has no I know, idea. but if it's a 13 year old I know, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I would want to regulate at home to mm -hmm. make sure that never even came close to happening. Would I want them on national television with the entire country regulating? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, it's again, it's based on their age. I think it's a little too harsh. Anyway, we're split. He's abstaining. You get to make the decision, Anna. Can we watch the video one more time? Oh my God, we've never just considered a case more thoroughly in the Supreme Court. I just want to look at his body again. Oh, because <laughs> he looks good. You're the uh, worst. Okay, no, God I'm, bless. I'm God gonna, bless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna side with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well she got she, up. She apologized, so that's admitting <laughs> guilt, right? Get out. Yeah, no, she he could this. She don't look thirteen, especially sitting down. Okay, no, no, not guilty. Goods, good on you. You're free to go.